In Affinity Photo, you can create all kinds of abstract black and white designs very quickly. Sort of surreal designs you can use for wallpapers, textures, maybe three designs and more. How to create this? Let's just remove that. And it all starts from a very basic ellipse. So ellipse, create that. You can apply any color. I'm going with red. Go to filters and blur and Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna blur it to about 42. So it's got a nice blurry edge and click apply. Then go to filters, down to colors and halftone. In halftone, you can set the screen. So just go down there and I'm gonna go for line. As soon as you do that, it goes black and white. That's what I want. And I'm just gonna change the cell size and I can then reduce it down to make very, very thin lines. But also I've got this lovely blur effect around the edge and click apply. I can also distort it as well. I can create waves in it. Unfortunately, there's no wave filter, but a quick way of doing it, just click here and that's the liquify persona. And now here, you can use this one. Go for liquify push forward tool and simply drag upwards. Now you can change the size of the brush, modify that, I'm going for 256 and then go downwards. Now, unfortunately, there's no shift key or anything to constrain it. Would be nice if there was, but there isn't. And you can do it up and down and up and down to create a wavy design like that. And of course you can make all kinds of variations. And of course you can always apply it again. You don't have to apply it just once. You can apply it up, down, all kinds of different ways to create some really truly extreme designs. And then click apply. So with that, you can, if you want, simply just hold down the ultra option key and drag and duplicate it. It actually works really well if you just sort of combine it so at certain points, looks pretty good. Go there, go there, and you can see you can create a very intense background texture design very easily. Also, what you can do, you can use this design maybe as a displacement map as well in the filter displace. It's really useful, say with an image. So any image, say one of these ones, simply use that and you can see there I've got a background using exactly the same sort of thing, that sort of design. Simply with that, go to filters, distort, and then go down to displace. And here you can then load the map from layers beneath. And you can see now you can create a lovely distortion design very quickly in Affinity Photo. Click apply. But let's go back to that now and undo. So got this, with this design, I want to create a pattern. So how to create a pattern? Well, just go over here, rectangular marquee tool. So rectangular marquee tool, just drag over this. Now you could add a feather in, that's perfectly reasonable, but I've got zero set in there. With this, I can now go up to layer and new pattern layer from selection. That creates a selection just based on that. You see that obviously the marching ants there. Now you can see there's a seam, it doesn't look great. I mean, you're perfectly happy if that's what you want, of course but you can always go up here to mirror, turn that on. Now you've got this lovely seamless design and you can rotate it, move it around, do all kinds of different things. Also what you can do is you can distort it. You can use filters, distort, maybe use mesh warp, that's really good. Also another option, go for deform. So in deform, simply go up here and I would suggest use similarity. So select that, add some pins and now just distort it. And as you do that, you can see what happens. The whole design will change like that. And click there, create another design there. Literally thousands of possible designs can be created very quickly. And click apply. And you can still resize it, rotate it, etc. Also, what you can do is you can apply it again. So you decide to go, I want to deform again. So repeat deform and you can get something like that instead. So let's just undo. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.